If you think that 3D models are the ultimate solution in construction, then you might be missing some key issues. 3D technology is transforming construction, but there's a hidden complexity that's often overlooked. The truth is, while 3D models offer incredible detail, they might not be as practical as they seem for every situation, especially on active construction sites. My name is Stefan Niculescu, a professional land surveyor with 20 years experience in industrial 3D scanning and construction setting out. I've worked on countless projects where balancing the advantages of 3D models with practicality of 2D drawings made all the difference. In this video, I will reveal why ditching 2D drawings can lead to costly errors and how you can avoid them. Before we dive into reasons why 2D drawings are still important, let's make sure we are on the same page about what 2D and 3D means in real world. Let's take for example this uh, popular drink for British people. This can has width, height and depth, so it's a 3D object. Now let's take a torch and light this can. What you will see is that its a projected shadow is 2D. It has height and width, but it doesn't have depth. Now that we understand the difference between 2D and 3D, let's look at uh, how this applies in construction. As you may learn at school, a coordinate system is made up of three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. These dimensions are crucially for pinpointing the position of any point in space. In the context of real world, X represent easting, Y represent northing, and Z represent the level or elevation. When we talk about 3D construction drawings, we're referring to models that incorporate all these three dimensions, allowing us to visualize depth and height alongside with length and width. In contrast, the 2D drawings are flat, focusing only on the X and Y dimensions, like floor plans, elevation, or sections. Now that we have clarified what 2D and 3D drawings are, let's move on to an important aspect, the perspective. This is where the real-world application of 3D data becomes fascinated. When a surveyor collects data for a topographical survey, they are always working in 3D. Tools like GPS or Total Station assign each point specific values for easting, northing, and level, ensuring precise location in a predefined uh, coordinate system, often the national coordinate system for accuracy. But here's where it gets interesting. Even though this data is collected in 3D, architects and engineers almost always simplify it into 2D drawings for construction planning and execution. Why is that? These are just a couple of reasons. 2D drawings are easier to read and interpret on site, especially for workers who may not be trained to use 3D models. Printing 2D drawings on paper is also more practical and cost effective than equipping every site with expensive tablets. While 3D models are becoming more common, many construction teams still lack the hardware or training needed to use them efficiently. 2D drawings have been a universal language on construction sites for centuries, understood by everyone from engineers to builders. Their long history has made them a central feature of construction workflows and standards. So while we live in a 3D world, then often our data is collected in 3D. Construction still relies heavily on 2D because of these practical limitations. 2D drawings are cost-effective, simple to produce and distribute by sending them on email, as PDF files, or print them on paper in comparison with the 3D models where you need powerful computers. Here's the exciting part. The tools we use uh, today like scanners and survey equipment are evolving fast. If you are curious about how 3D data collection is getting easier and more defaultable, check out this video.